uh, actually after today's class, I'll send you a file which is provided by Ravi, which has a lot of examples from uh, on joining the Sunday and splitting the Sunday. So maybe you can all work it out. Now I think uh, third for class, you'll see some yoga which are from some famous Kavya and see if you can identify the two Sandhis. We have Kapatawa two Sandhis, which is Yan Sandhi and Yan we can see them in action because they where how do the poets use these countries. Right. The poem Shasya what um, I'm going to ask people to volunteer to split these. This is a very simple example, so there's nothing in actually putting the Sandhi. What I'd also like to hear is the Lakshana Samandhi. And then when I, uh, uh, let me give an example. If I have Hara A, if it has Hara A, how do I actually, this is Yanta uh, Andarisha Sandhi, and I say, it is using the rule I so But how exactly is the Lakshana Samanvaya? How do you um, explain it in words? What exactly is happening? How I will say Hare Kati Ekaraha, Ekaraha H, Echaha Achipare Ayad Ayavadeshaha Sifu. It is Ukaraha. Ekaraha H, Tasmat Achi Asin Ekare Pare, Ekarasya Ayadeshaha Haraye. This way, I would like you to tell, split the Sanki and do Lakshana Samanya. Somebody volunteer? Hello. Vagatho Eva. Here. Vagatho Eva. Kas. Eva. Ha. Kas Sandhi. Which is a Sandhi? H O A Y A V A. Sandhi is good. A V A. H O A Y A V A. Vagatho Eva. H O A Y A V A. H O A Y A V A. And Vagartha, it is the eighth. Huh? Vagartha, uh, Jaram Jashwante. Vak. Vagartha. Uh, huh. We'll just do whatever we uh, have Vagartha. done. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, I was just uh, thinking of Vagartha Prati. Uh, huh. This yeah. is all. Vagartha is just for the Okay. May I wish you May I wish you. Oh, sorry. You're still unmuted. Uh, May I wish you. Tetra, Kahatan D. H.O.I.A.V. Yes. H.O. May. I 
ఆదేశ నమస్తే ఆత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత్మాత
Atma eva. It's yeah, not Yeah, it's not. It is not. Um, it's this Atma eva is Buddhi Sandhi, which we study later. But can you identify either yen or yen on the distance here? There is no yen here. Um, sure. It is the Sandhi between A, Akara, and uh, A, Akara. But to the different Sandhi. There is also a Sandhi in this line. Yeah. Okay. Yen Sandhi. Can you identify the Yen Sandhi here? Uh, Can somebody else follow it? Samya Ji, Mr. Bala Ji has wanted to Yes. Hello? Bala Ji? Hello. Namaskara. Jnani tu atma eva. Ha. Tu atma eva. Atma eva is the same as the Tu atma eva. Katham samam eva. Hello. Shweta eva. Yeah. How? Ha. Shweta eva. Katham lakshita samam eva. Iko yanachi. Ukara tu iko. Ika ha. Uh, Achi Pare Nama, Akara Pare, Akara Sipare, Ukara Sistane, Ova Adesha, Yan Adesha. Vakara Adesha, Satya. Vakara Adesha, Satya. Tu Atmaiva. There is another Santi in Atmaiva which we will see later. But now there is a yen between Tu and Atmaiva. Right? Okay, so we will see. Yena kena kripa yena shubhena kripa shubhena ra. Okay. So, I'm going to taste this. Yena kena kripa yena shubhena kripa shubhena ra. Very easy. Kira dal su. He has some music. Awesome. Is that mommy? Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Ha, tell me. Ha, great. So, okay. Correct. Kena api upayena. Is that some music? Uh, Ikara is, uh, Ikaha. ना I muted her somewhere. Hello. Hello. Yeah. The ne ne there is another. There is another one in here. Shubhena. Shubhena api. Ashubhena. So, ekpare achi. Yana adesh. Adesh. Uh, api, uh, Shobhena Api. Ikaraha Ik. Ikaraha Ik. Ashubhena Akaraha Achi. Achi Pare. Achi Pare. Akare Pare. Yan Adesha. Shobhena Api. Yan Adesha. Yan Adesha. Uh, Emma asks a question in the previous one. That is, uh, Atmaiva. 
वृद्धिरेचि सत्य वृद्धिरेचि इति संकृति आसीत् तत्र अग्रे पश्यामः ओके नेक्स्ट आदित्य चंद्र पनीनान लौच Any other volunteers, please? Aditya Chandra, Aditya Chandra, Anila plus Anila. Anila plus Anila. Anila. Is that right? Yeah, Anila plus Anila is first. But I wanted only the first part which is Aditya Chandra. Anila Analov. There is one Anila and there is one Anila. So Chandra plus... Echa Aya Vaya Vaha. Au Iti Shabda Svesthani. Au Idi Adeshah. एचह नम अवकारस्य स्थाने अच्छी पड़े अच्छी नम अवकारे पड़े आवादी आव आवादी अवकारस्य स्थाने आवादी नहीं तब तो युग पड़े Purnima? Uh, yes. Purnima? Uh, yes. Hello. Um, hello, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. नैतर वही पढ़ते थे वही 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 अम्म इसे सेकेंड वर्ड उत्तर पढ़ते थे। हाँ, तो वही उत्तर पढ़ते थे। हम यूपा पढ़ते थे। हम्म। हाँ। एक स्थान है। हाँ। तो एको एको यार चीज़। हाँ, हमारे इकारस्य स्थान है। इकारस्य स्थान है। हम्म। हाँ। Hmm. I'm not sure how to say it in Sanskrit. Achipare. Achipare. Yang. Yang Adesha Bharati. Yang Adesha Bharati. Okay. Next. अस्त्रेश वकुंठिका बुद्धि
Cristina. Hello, Cristina. So maybe her uh, mic may not be working. Yeah. Okay, somebody else? Gita? Kiara? शास्त्रेशु अवकुंडिता वृद्धि ही शास्त्रेशु अवकुंडिता 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 नो शास्त्र Gita, Ah, hello? Shastreshu Akuntita Buddhi. Akuntita Shastreshu Akuntita. Akuntita Buddhi. Shastreshu Akuntita Buddhi. Buddhi. Here, Ika name comes. Shu. Shu is Ika. Ika is Ika. Ika is Ika. Ika is Ika. हाँ नम उपार सिद्धाने परे उपारे परे हाँ अच्छी नम उपारे परे उपारे परे ये ना देश हस्या तो वकार ना देश हस्या वकार वकार हाँ वा उपार सिद्धाने वकार हाँ देश हस्या ये ना देश वाविंग पुरुषों लोगे इतना यहाँ से लोग हाँ वाविंग पुरुषों लोगे क्षरस्थाक्षरे ये बता Somebody, please. Hello. Yes, Kuji. Yeah, now okay, I'm on. Microphone? Yeah. Okay, is it okay now? Dve Dve Yimau Purushau Loke. Sandhi is between Dve Dve and Yimau. But if it is Dve, it is yeah. Eta. What would be the ratio for Eta? Uh, H. Uh, H or Yav. 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 Right? Yeah. That is for Dve. How do you speak? Hello, Kira Lalti. Hello, Kira Lalti. 
Okay. Dvau i mau. So, dvau, au, follows, ach. So, av is the adesha. H pare, ach. H pare, ach. अच्छी परे आवादेश है बहुत I'll send these words, so whoever is interested can just solve it and uh, we see if there are any problems. Because then we have only N and uh, N and Samantha, they are all in full. So let's move on. Agreement to the mercy on to the mercy. Kichoya vaya vaka, which you can find in the mercy on to the mercy. Patta pray mercy. Vāntaha iti pratyaya. Vāntaha iti pratumantaha. Atthamata vidhyayata. Vakārāntaha. Abhu ante yasyasana vāntaha. Vakārāntaha ādesho bhavati. Sityattaha. Vakārāntaha nama avu āvati. Purva sutre ayu avu āy āvati. Chattaraha ādeshaha vītaha. Satra vāntaha. Vakārāntau yu ādesho. Avādeshaha avādesha. सह आदेशों भवत अस्मिन सुत्रे भी तदा ये प्रत्येक इति सप्तनि ये इति सप्तनि प्रत्येक इति सप्तनि आहार था तस्मिन परे तस्मिन निकले कुछ एक पूर्व से इतने भान से या लगा दो प्रत्येक परे वाम तह आदेश हब भवति कस्मिन आदेश हब भवति स्थानी पूर्व सुत्रे न लगते थे फिर पानी भी कज़न डायरेक्टली मेंशन द स्थानी या तो इस द स्थानी फ्रॉम द पूर्व सूत्र पीवीएस सूत्र वाज एच ओ या या वह इन दैट द वकारांता आदेश दैट इस अव एंड आ वेर आदेश हैं फॉर ओ कारा एंड ओ कारा रेस्पेक्टिवली सो हियर आल्सो द सेम स्थानी इस फॉर ओ ओ कारा एंड ओ कारा व्हेन फॉलोड बे या कारा विद प्रत्या � इस सूत्र आता है लकार आदो प्रत्येक परे ओ दो तो हो ओ का रस्य ओ का रस्य जा अव आव इत्ये तो आदेश उस था उदाहरण में बच्चों में गो हो विकार हा इत्ये थे गो शब्द आते यत प्रत्येक हम दिए थे गो पैस और यत सूत्र द सफिक्स यत इज अप्लाइड तो गो यत प्रत्येक सकार से हलांकि हम इससे लेने इतने या इससे लोपा इससे लेने लोपस्त होते गो या इससे से इधर नीम गो शब्द से या कारा दो प्रत्येक परे गो शब्द का there is an o कारा and this is followed by या कारा that suffix beginning with या so वादेश और o कारा is अब will be the आदेश गबु या गब्यम इस रूप गोरविकारा हाँ सभ्यम् एवं एवं आवातार्यम् यत्थ नौशात यत्थ सत्य हा विद्यते तर्हि यत्थ सफिक्स इस अवेड ऑन टू द शब्दा नौ बाय सूत्रा विजुवस नौ पैवन हर्मन विषमोलम मोला सीता तुलाप्या हाँ तागे तुल्य प्राप्ते अध्यान में समस्तिका संदेशु तो इस तरह का फिर यहाँ नौ सो नावातार्यम दस for in such, in that sense, you have this suffix which is added to now. There is an aukara, odau toho, yakara do pratyaya pare. Aukara ha pratyaya kare pare. Avadeshtha, navu ya navyam. Why wouldn't Echoyavaya ha appear here? Because this is not such. Echoyavaya ha specified, Echoyavaya ha specified, Echoyavaya ha specified. Yakara is not such. 
So there is another sutra written. Even when it is followed by yakara, you get vantasna adesha. Provided the yakara is at the beginning of that suffix. Right? Oda ava ava adesha ustaha. Sutra se vartika mekam nishyate gor yuta uchanda upasankhya. Chandasi nama vede. Sarpatra sutra se bhutra drishyate chandasi. Panini uses this very often. Uh, even Vartika Kara uses Whenever it says Chandasi, it means in the Vesha. As I told in the beginning, Panini and Vrama is written with cater to both Vedic Sampra and classical Sampra. So this particular Vartika applies only in the Vedas. So in the Vedas, Boho Yutau. Boho it is Shashti, Yutau it is Abhami. Boho, Boho Shabda Sifthane, Yutau. When Go Shabda is followed by Yuti Shabda, you get Vantaha. Vantoi Prachaya Chitha Vantaha is in what is it? Vantaha Vaharantha Adesha Hasya. That's why Oka Rasya Avadesha Vati. Vartya Shabda Vere Duti Shabda Pare. Go Shabda Vayavasya Oka Rasya Sthane Avu Iti Vantaha Adesha Vati. Go Yuti Shabda. Go Shabda Yuti Shabda Pare Avadeshe Gav Yuti This Vartika is meant to derive a single word which is Gav Yuti. Gav Yuti in the Vedas means a land in which the cows graze, the cows wander. Go Pratarapundi. The land in which the cows move about is called Gav Yuti. You see that in Shu Veda Mantra. Like, there is an example. So the word beauty is used there. So what is the need of this practice? Would body can't get one to your practice. There is okara and there is a karadi practice. There is a akaradi. So why not use one to your practice to get the adhesha? Because beauty is not a suffix. It is not a prathaya. So, vanto yi prathaya will not apply here. And Vartika Tata says, even if it is not a prathaya, when Koshata is followed by Yuti Shabda, in the way that you get Avadesha. So, you have the beauty to say no one sit there. Loke has the beauty, Yuti Shabda has the beauty. If you hear the word the beauty, even in classical Sanskrit, it is used in a different sense. The beauty is a measure of Distance. The beauty is the um, measure which is two kroshas or half a yojana. You know, all the, there are different units of measurement measuring distance. You have uh, danda, hasta, krosha, the beauty, and yojana. So there are four kroshas take up one yojana, and two kroshas is the beauty. So the beauty is a bird which specifies the distance which is of uh, two, uh, half a yojana. Okay? So how will you derive that? This Vartika says only Thandasi, most of the same Yuti Shabda correct. Okay? So the Vartika says Adha Parimanetha, Adha Namo Martha, Parimanam Namo Namanam, a measure. So Martha Parimana Visheshe Gavye, when it is used in the sense of an indicator of distance, go shabda se yuti shabda pare, yuti shabda pare, go shabda vayavasya okarasya sthane avadesha bhavati. I am located in Saraho, even in classical sense. This particular sense is not in the sense, but in classical sense. So you have yuti, the Amara Kosha says, of yuti is three kroshayam, kroshayam, two kroshas, and what makes up the bottles of beauty. Okay. Actually, what it uh, literally means from the derivation the means of tea is yuti, yu mishrana mishrana yohu, yu yate, no, shru yate, gohu, uh, it says the beauty is the distance through which you can hear a cow. If a cow is standing at one point and it uh, moves, the distance to which you can hear that sound is called the beauty. 
when it is estimated to be approximately that distance. So, Gavyu Bihi, Vanto Yi Pratyeche Nena Yekarada U Pratyeche Pare Okara Se Okara Se Sha Adeshwa Vishya Se. Goryu Tau Chanjshi Patanishanam Adho Parimane Cha Ityu Bhabhyam Vati Ka Bhyam Gavyu Bihi Ete Param Nishpadye Te. So, you got Gavyu Bihi. But, it is an objection. How did you get to the the sutra tells go, Vartika tells go for yuti shatre pare. But how did you get yuti? Yu mishrana mishrana yoho iti dhato ho kthin pratya ha bhiyate. Striyam kthin pratya sutra. Kthin pratya ye kakasya nakarasya te utsamna bhavati. Kthi kthi shishare. Kthihi makhi dathihi iti rupani kthin pratya na ya sadhya. Kthin is a very common pratya. You see it for all dhatus. In Sri Lanka, you get Sin Pratya. That is how you get Bhakti or Truti or whatever. Dati, Mati, Sati, whatever. So, similarly, so if you do T Pratya, if you add this fixed T to you, you get Yuti. Yuti should have been true. How did you get Yuti? You need a Dhyutha, but there is no Sutra to tell Dhyutha. It should have been Jirchi. Do T becomes Yuti. Yud hi iti shabda se katham vishpati hi. It is saying that Dib vidayatam putram nasti. It is not a samasya. Our problem is to derive the yud hi shabda. You do not have a sutra which can give a dhirgha when you is followed by ti. So what do we do? Panini uses a technique which is called nipatana. Nipatana is where Panini directly tells how the Prakriti Pratya will happen. The usual way of deriving words is he tells there are Pratiparika or Dhatus and you add Pratya. There is a Prakriti and Pratya. When you add Pratya, there are specific carriers which are mandated. Using this, you can get a finer form. So there are some cases where Panini felt it is not needed to, I mean, where he cannot make a Sutra to derive the end form from its prakriti. What he does then is he directly gives the word in its a ready-made form. He does not tell that when you is followed by t you get dirgha. Just as ut is a shabda which is sadhu. Uti, yuti, juti, sati, iti, kita, yashta. It becomes sutra. So this sutra directly defines, gives six ready-made words. Uti, Yuti, Juti, Sati, Eti, Eti, which are different from different dhatus. So this is called Nipatana. Nipatana means Siddha Sriyasya Nirsesha Nipatana. Nipatana is a ready-made form in which all the prakriya is assumed to be done. So when you try to derive it, if there are any blanks like this, if there is a blank in which there is no sutra, you can directly say Nipatana Bhavishyati. Because it has been given in the ready-made form, whatever the carrier will happen. So, UT is such a Shabda which is a Nipatana. And he directly mentions it as UT. So, UT is a proper word. Go Shabda se UT Shabda ya parai Avadesho Bhavati. So, that was one. So, there is one more objection which is laid when you are looking at Gavyuti. Bo Shabda se Yuti Shabda Pare Avadesha Gavu Yuti Hi Ittasthi. You reach till Gavyuti. Next he says, Take away the Vakata. This is a sutra which you study right next. Tells Loba Shaka Lekta and Hali Sarveshya. Bo Sutra Stel Avarana Purva Yohu, Padanta Yohu, Yakara Vakara Yohu, Ashipare Va Lopaha. Yakara Vakara Yohu Lopaha. Yakara and Vakara Rinjet Topa. Padanta Yohu. If they are at the end of Pada. Avarana Purva Yohu. If they are preceded by Akara. Ashipare and followed by Ash. Ash is from Ayuvum in Javagadavash. So this sutra says, you have to there is the pada. Go and duty are two separate padas. When you do gavyuti, 
वकारो न लुप्यत इति यावत लुप्यते इति यावत व्याख्या perhaps. By yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Any other question? What is it? Maybe we, uh, since we spent a few. Uh, Uh, no, I, yeah, no, no. Thank you. So, if you are okay with it, I will take a uh, take five or ten more minutes and do the next. We will not actually talk much. We see the next sutra. It's an interesting one. Is part of Sanni with the Seva. Sutra Kamane Yamaki. वदति धातोस्तम आरभ्यमो विधि This is the general definition of a nima. Siddhe sati. That is when your example is already derived. So when whatever you want to do has already been achieved by some other sutra. And still anini begins a sutra. So it means nima ayam bhavati. It uh, imposes a certain restriction upon the rule. Nima sutra is always the reference to a vidhi sutra. Niyama Sutra is a sutra which restricts the application of Vidhi Sutra in a particular condition. Okay. So, for any Niyama Sutra to apply, first we have to see what is the Vidhi Sutra. Vidhi Sutra is a sutra which 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 needs to cut. उत्तर 
इधर सावध हाथ का और आधा हाथ का प्रत्यय
since the okara and aukara here are due to prakriya, tannimitta, then only you get avare, vanta desha, the sutra, uh, sutra. So, to actually understand this, you need a counter example. Where is it that okara or aukara is not tannimitta? The sutra, the vantadesha will apply only if it is tannimitta. So then you saw two examples where it is tannimitta. In lavyam, okara is derived using the prakriya as tannimitta. Lavyam etyatra, pratyam nimitti kratya aukara utpanna. Tannimitta aukara, tasma tasta avadesho bhavati. Lavyam etyatra tannimitta, pratyam nimitta aukara, tasma tasta avadesho bhavati. So now you need a counter example where it is not Tannimitta, right? Tannimitta seva yukim. What does he mean by Tannimitta? O yate iti upamas. Ve dhadhu. Ve tantu tantane. Ve is to weave. Uh, vayati means to weave a cloth. So ve tantu tantane dhadhu. Karmani lakshlakaraha. A iti upasargaha. Where dhatuhu, karmani let lakaraha. So the karmani let always ends with ya and te. Like one yate, ko yate, etc. Yak is a prasthaha and you have atmane kada, stay. So a upasarkaha, where dhatuhu, ya, yak prasthaha, etc. Now, the who is converted to u. So the sutra is this, but this kapi agari nam kiti. It is a karasya samparane na ukaraha adhesha. Vakarasya sthane ukaraha adesha hakriya se. Tatma ukara eka yoho purva rupa. U and A join to give U in a purva rupa sandhi. By the sutra tamsara anatra. So you have A, U, Y, A. Akarasya ukarasya sa adgudha. A plus U is always O. This is guna sandhi. It will see me. So now you have O, Y, T. See here, you have an Okara, which is followed by Yakaraji Pratyaya. If you do Vanto Yip Pratyaya here, then it should become Avyate. Avade Chesati, Avyate Iti Rukum Sinat. In the Nahavati. Kimatham Nahavati. Atra Okara ha Pratyaya Nimitta ha Nasati. How did you get the Okara here? The God derived the okara by doing a guna between a and u. This okara does not depend on the ya, right? Even if this six were absent, if wherever you have a and u, you get o. So this is not tannimitta. Pratyanimitta from nasti okara. Himuktam paninina dhatu hu che dvanta reshaha. I am dhatu hu. Dhatu hu okara se dvanta reshaha bhavati che tannimitta seva. Pratyanimitta seva bhati. Atta okara ha na pratyanimitta ha. Tasmada ha avadesh ha nasti. Ayameva ayameva dhatu ho. Not o yate, this should be abhiya ta. Ve tanta santane eti dhatu ho. This has been repeated. Sorry. Uh, one second, I'll show you another prakriya. Aubhyeta Shrupamasti. Vedhato ho karmani langlakara. This is langlakara. In langlakara you have adatama. Say for any dhato you have at or at adatama. So you have adatama and the and the at the prakriyas. Again you have the same samprasarana and you have a and u. Same like you had a and u there. You have the same a and u here. 
but the difference is this a is not an upasarga it is an art agama since it is an art agama then the sutra art astra which says there is vritti instead of the usual guna there is an apavara art vritti and followed by ach will get vritti vritti will okara so now you have au ya वांटो के प्रति इति सूत्रेण अत्रापि आवादेशः प्राप्तोति किन्तु यम वृद्धि न प्रत्यय निमित्ता दिस वृद्धि आल्सो डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द प्रत्यय वेरएवर यू हैव आर्ट एंड एन अच यू विल गेट वृद्धि सो सिंस दिस इज नॉट तन्निमित्ता औकारः न तन्निमित्ता तस्मात् आवादेशः न भवति धातु तन्निमित्तस्यैव इट इज अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन टू सच It is restriction, restricting the application of vantoi prasaya. If vantoi prasaya has to apply in the case of a dhatu, it will apply only if the okara and okara is sannimitta. If it is not sannimitta, it will not apply. That is why dhatu sannimitta prasaya is a niyama sutra. I hope we made it clear. Uh, just go for and look through this once and then... Uh, संदेह सिद्धांत कौमरी सरासरी 